Good morning everyone. Welcome back to GK today. And today we'll be discussing most important MCQs for 10th of January 2023. Let's start with our session. Where is the headquarters of Asian Pacific Postal Union located? So, Asian Pacific Postal Union is an intergovernmental organization of 32 member countries of the Asia Pacific region. And it is the only restricted union of the Universal Postal Union, which is the United Nations specialized agency, basically. Okay. And why this union is in news these days? Because India will take over the leadership of the Asian Pacific Postal Union from this month as per the Ministry of Communication. Okay. So India will be leading the Asian Pacific Postal Union from this month. And that's why this union was in news. So here correct answer will be Bangkok. Headquarter lies in Bangkok. Next is which country developed the Aadhaar like platform for nine countries called Modular Open Source Identity Platform. So International Institute of Information Technology, Bangalore, has developed a platform to provide Aadhaar like digital identities for total nine countries. And this modular open source identity platform is a digital identity platform. So basically citizens of the country, Philippines, Morocco, Sri Lanka, Uganda, Ethiopia, Republic of Guinea, Sierra Leone, Burkina Faso and Togolese Republic will enroll on the platform. These are the nine countries that are involved in this platform. Okay. So here correct answer would be India. Next is which union ministry launched the draft online gaming policy. So the draft rules for online gaming in India was released by Ministry of Electronics and IT. And the draft amendments to the IT rules 2021 propose a ban on betting in online games. So this rules propose setting up a self regulatory body for the grievance redressal and mandating know your customer rules for the gamers and online gaming intermediaries. Fine. So this is the initiative of Ministry of Electronics and IT. Next is what is the outlay of the broadcasting infrastructure and the network development scheme? The full form of BIND is broadcasting infrastructure and network development. So the cabinet committee on economic affairs recently approved the proposal of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting regarding the central sector scheme that is BIND. And the BIND scheme aims to bring modernization to the public broadcaster Prasar Bharti that is All India Radio and Doordarshan. And the outlay of the scheme is 2540 crore rupees for the time period up to 20. 25 to 26 fine so here approximate amount is 2500 crore rupees two things are important you can be asked about the full form of bind scheme it is broadcasting infrastructure and the network development scheme and uh, which ministry is associated with it ministry of information and broadcasting and what is the outlay of this scheme answer would be 2500 crore rupees next is what is the theme of all India Annual State Ministers Conference on Water. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the first All India Annual State Ministers Conference on Water and the theme of the conference is Water Vision at the rate 2047. And what was the objective? So objective was to bring together the key policy makers for the discussions on the ways like how we can harness our water resources for sustainable development and for the human development okay so the theme of this conference was water vision at the rate 2047 now you have to tell me when do we observe the world water day and what was the theme for the year 2022 do let me know in the comments next is which state or the union territory recently joined the free rice scheme of the center under the national food security act so the Telangana government has decided to join the free rice scheme of the center under the National Food Security Act. 
and this scheme aims to supply 5 kgs of rice per head per month in a family to 54.44 lakh nfsa card holders in the state okay so the state government will extend the scheme to an additional 35.52 lakh card holders at its own cost fine so that's why it is in news correct answer would be telangana state next is the intelligent tray retrieval system has been inaugurated in which state's airport so union minister for msme mr narayan rane inaugurated this intelligent tray retrieval system at mopa international airport that lies in the state of goa and talking about this itrs it is an artificial intelligence based fully automatic machine that helps in providing enhanced passenger security with advanced screening technology okay and uh, it is equipped with the image analysis software along with advanced tools to take correct decisions against the baggages fine so recently this system has been installed in mopa international airport at the goa state fine next is babha saurav and gorav are the civilian awards provided by which state so the government of assam released the list of winners of the highest civilian awards the assam babhav award and there will be one recipient for assam babhav five recipients for assam saurav and 15 recipients for assam gorab awards and dr tapan saikia who is associated with the healthcare and public services sectors has been declared the assam babhav for the year 2023 this name is very very important so these are the highest civilian awards provided by the assam state now can you tell me when do we observe the world braille day so this day is observed on 4th of january every year to honor the birth anniversary of louis braille who is from the country france okay next question is which state launched the chief ministers residential land rights scheme so chief minister of madhya pradesh state shivraj singh chauhan launched the chief ministers residential land rights scheme and also he gave the land rights letter to the eligible beneficiaries of this scheme and objective is to provide free plots to the poor who are living in the rural areas for building their homes okay so this is the scheme of madhya pradesh state next question is The government has approved twenty-eight point one one crore rupees to extend the interest-free loan to tobacco farmers of which particular state? So, government has approved this much amount to extend the interest-free loan to tobacco farmers in the state of Andhra Pradesh, and this would help the farmers to overcome the damage caused by Mandu's cyclonic rains. Okay, and this interest-free loan to the eligible farmers will be administered by the tobacco board basically fine so your correct answer would be andhra pradesh state now can you tell me the silent valley national park is located in which indian state or the union territory actually why i am asking this question why silent valley was in news because a bird survey was conducted at this national park and it is located in the nilgiri hills in the state of kerala in the last week of december month and this survey identified 141 species of birds in which 17 were totally new and so far 175 species of birds have been spotted in silent valley fine so you have to remember that silent valley national park lies in the state of kerala now there is one more news which is left out the united kingdom has recently announced that a record 87.6% of power generated into the grid came from zero carbon sources for example wind nuclear and hydro power so basically 67% of britain's power came from wind 19% from nuclear resources and 9.5% from gas fired power stations okay and a wind generation record was also set with almost 21 gigawatts of output fine so you can be asked that 
which country has generated a record 87.6% of power from zero carbon sources. This country is UK. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now we'll come to December 2022 current affairs revision part. Okay. And this is part two in the series. You can watch the part one of it in the earlier lecture. Let's start. Question number 16 says, which is the first state in the country to implement an open loop ticketing system using national common mobility card? So Haryana has become the first state in the country that has implemented an open loop ticketing system and uh, it will basically help the roadways in route rationalization according to the number of passengers and buses and also it will promote the use of open loop ticketing fine so this is the haryana state which indian institution has been recently hit by an alleged ransomware attack so recently aims was hit by this ransomware attack and the full form is all india institute of medical sciences and it was hacked for over one week what is the gross gst revenue collected in the month of november 2022 so the gross gst revenue collected in the month of november is 1,45,867 crore rupees fine and uh, the revenues for the month of november are 11 percent higher than the gst revenues in the same month if we compare it with 2021 fine who is the foreign secretary of india as of 2022 so presently our foreign secretary is mr vinay mohan quatra and why he was in news because recently the tenure of vinay mohan quatra has been extended for 16 months okay after the recent changes in pre matrix scholarship for minority students the scholarship is available for which classes so the government's pre matrix scholarship to the students of minority community who are studying in classes 1 to 8 is being discontinued and now students in the classes 9 and 10 will be eligible for this scholarship by the ministry of minority affairs from 2022 to 23 okay next is which is the fund manager of the bharat bond etf exchange traded fund actually the government has launched the fourth tranche of bharat bond etf which is india's first corporate bond exchange traded fund fine so here correct answer would be adil waste mutual fund which one ministry released the guidelines for msos means multi-system operators to transmit the local content so this is associated with ministry of information and broadcasting and the government asked these msos to apply to register as a company within the next three months to provide the local news and current affair program okay which institution released the global wage report 2022 to 23 so this was a report from international labor organization headquarter lies in geneva switzerland barak nx air defense system is associated with which country it is associated with the country israel and why it is in news because recently the israeli navy conducted a successful test of this long-range interceptor missile against an advanced cruise missile fine so this barak mx air defense system is associated with the country israel next is two entirely new minerals have been found in a meteorite that fell on which country so recently two entirely new minerals have been found in a huge meteorite that fell on somalia country Researchers from which institution have developed energy efficient computing platform to build next generation electronic devices. This is Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Which Indian state hosts the Silchar Silhet festival? This is a festival from the state of Assam. Next is, what is the new deadline for the third party applications to comply with UPI market share guidelines? So National Payments Corporation of India has extended the deadline for the third party applications to comply with UPI market share guidelines by two years. So the earlier deadline was December 31st, 2022. But now the new deadline is December 31st, 2024. This public sector bank has raised 
टेन थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज थ्रू इट्स मेड इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बॉन्ड इशू दिस इज स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया ओके एंड आई थिंक वन क्वेश्चन हैज बिन मिस्ड दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉट इज द मेरियम वेबस्टर्स वर्ड ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो द वर्ड गैस लाइटिंग हैज बिन अनाउंसड एज द मेरियम वेबस्टर्स वर्ड ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड वॉट डज इट मीन सो बेसिकली इट इज साइकोलॉजिकल मैनिपुलेशन ऑफ अ पर्सन विच कॉज इज द विक्टिम टू क्वेश्चन द वैलिडिटी ऑफ देयर ओन थॉट्स परसेप्शन ऑफ रियलिटी और मेमरीज एंड समटाइम्स टिपिकली इट लीड्स टू कन्फ्यूजन लॉस ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड सेल्फ स्टीम फाइन सो टिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड थर्टी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ दिसंबर एंड सिमिलरली वील प्रोसीड फर्दर नॉलेज स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज क्विज हियर ऑन द स्लाइड यू कैन सी फाइव क्वेश्चन विच हैव बीन टेकन फ्रॉम द पास टू थ्री डेज करंट अफेयर्स Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today, and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minus Hatsana signing off.